Behold, it's Arby's Wagyu Steakhouse Burger. Get wrecked, bad burgers. Hey guys, welcome to the Geeduck. Today, we're trying Arby's new burgers. That's right, Arby's has burgers. That's right, and it ain't just a normal burger, it's the Wagyu beef. How's it gonna stack up compared to McDonald's and Wendy's? Stick around, we're about to find out. All right, Billy, Arby's Burgers, what do we got? That's right, man. So we know uh, all you uh, Geedunk fans out there know we previously did a burger food war where we compared about six different burgers, and in that food war, Wendy's came out king, baby. So if you want to see the other ones we compared it to, check out our video. It was great, you know, and uh, a lot of surprises in that video, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, Actually, surprising, McDonald's, I think, came out second. Now, this is yeah, a Quarter Pounder Deluxe, yeah, right? Yeah, Quarter Pounder Deluxe came out second, and now, of course... Hey, man, about a week ago, Arby's came out with a burger, which we were perked our ears. We're like, dang, man, why Arby's? They never had burgers, you know? But they got the meats, but they ain't got the burgers. I love right? me a good burger. Oh, yeah. And they got, not only is it beef, but it's the Wagyu beef, you know, premium cut uh, Japanese cows, you know, Wagyu's. And, and I think there's American Wagyu's now, too. That's what they say. That's what they say. Yeah, I'm a little else, skeptical. Who knows what else is in here, but... <laughs> You know what? We're going to see how it stacks up to Wendy's and McDonald's. So let's get started here. Oh, man. That Wagyu does look good. Oh, it's messy. That Ooh, yeah. is messy, but it looks good, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, it's got a little sauce on there. I like that. Mm, it looks kind of like McDonald's, uh, kind of like McDonald's is a uh, Big Mac sauce. Kind of a, yeah, it does kind of. Yeah. Of course, we got our nice little quarter pounder here, which is uh, doesn't look that much, but it tastes pretty dang good, or it did the challenge last time anyway. So. I don't know, like a, a normal, regular quarter pounder isn't that impressive, but the no, deluxe, the deluxe looks, better. looks pretty good. And then, of course, we got the king, Wendy's. Now, you know, the thing is that Wendy's ain't much for looks, man, but I tell you what, that was a hell of a tasting burger. Holy cow, that yeah. tasted great, man. You know, Wendy's got those square patties. Yeah, that's right. And that was a blind taste test, too, so we didn't know what we were tasting, and Wendy's came out on top. So that was Now, bad. what do you think about looks alone with the bun and everything else? Yeah, so looks alone, I mean, obviously the Arby's one looks the biggest, I think. You know, it looks, uh, the, all the buns are similar. It looks like they're all kind of a brioche-type bun, you know, except you got the sesame seed on the, you know, on the uh, Quarter Pounder Deluxe's, you know, this McDonald's kind of little thing there that they got going always. Uh, but, I mean, I think for the most part, they all look pretty dang good. You know, I mean, Wendy's, you know, looks the least of them all, but as we know, Wendy's is a pretty damn good burger, so... Yeah, I will say the Arby's one does look the smallest of the three here. And what what, what are we talking about price wise? So, well, it looks smaller as far as this way, but it's still bigger as far as I mean, that's a big that's a big cut of uh, a beef right there, man. That's a nice thick piece, nice, nice thick patty that's got going there. Now, price wise, the Arby's one was uh, I want to say six ninety nine or seven. It was, it was about seven or eight bucks for this burger. All right, for these two, they're about five a piece, between five and six dollars a piece. For the Mickey D's and the Wendy's. So you're paying right. for that Wagyu so you beef. Got, you know, we got the Dave Single, the Quarter Pounder Deluxe, and of course the uh, Wagyu Steakhouse Burger here. All right, so let's dig into this thing. Right, man, well, well, what start, are you going with first? Start with the Mickey D's first, man. All right, get a little, little taste of good old Mickey D's back. Mm. And of course, it does not disappoint. Hey, man, a Quarter Pounder Deluxe is a good burger, you know? It doesn't taste like your normal McDonald's with the no. Quarter Pounder Deluxe. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Yeah, that's a good burger, man. That's probably, I guess that's probably my, Not bad, not bad. That's probably about my favorite McDonald's burger right there. You know? Oh, definitely. As far as McDonald's burger goes, quarter pounder deluxe, you can't go wrong with it. <clears throat> you know, cannot go wrong with that burger. All right, let me try this Wendy's out. Yep. The former champ of the burger war. That's right. This one beat out the, this one beat out the quarter pounder deluxe. I, I don't know what Wendy's does, man, but they make a damn good burger. You know, I don't know what it is they do these things. Mine had a weird smell first going into it, but... Well, that smells right. Don't they don't look special, but, man, they taste good. Tell you what. It's so always fresh patty, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Allegedly. The patty's good, man. Wendy's has just a, uh, they got the freaking, uh, whatever the magic they got going there, man, they got it down. I can't really go wrong with Wendy's as far as fast food. Now there are better, better burgers out there, such as Five Guys. Oh, of course. And uh, Shake Shack, but I wouldn't consider those in this category, which is no. why we're not comparing those. Well, although this one right here costs damn near as much as those burgers, so, you know, the Arby's one. Well, let's check it out. Let's do it, man. I'm looking forward to this all day. Uh, let's dive into this Arby's. Mm -hmm. It looks good. See if it, it tastes good. Oh, yeah. That's a good burger. That is a different taste altogether. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, there is a lot of mm. sauce on this burger. There is a lot of sauce, but you can definitely taste that beef, man. There's some good seasoning on there. Mm. 
Yeah, Harvey seasoned that up, right. It definitely is a different type of beef wow. than these two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely tell right off the bat. I'm not saying I'm, uh, I'm not mad this thing costs, you know, I had to pay seven or eight bucks for this thing. This is a pretty damn good burger. At the very least, Holy it's cow. good. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it's better. It might be. I think it's better. I don't think it's it better. It has a very unique taste to it. It's mm -hmm. a little bit more smoky than the other ones. Yeah. A little more smoky. You got a little more, you know, seasoned taste to it, yo. Got uh, just the right amount of salt. You know, you taste a little bit of salt in there, but it's like just the right amount. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to be for everyone, though. Maybe not, but it's definitely for me. <laughs> It is definitely for me. But I got, I got, I got to tell you though, as good as it is, I mean, these are, these are still damn good burgers right here. You can't go wrong with Dave Single or Double or with Quarter Pounder Deluxe. I mean, I think this is better, but it ain't better. Like, oh my God, it's you know so much better. You know, I think it's just because it's got a unique flavor to it. You know, it's a thicker patty, and the patty's definitely got a lot of good seasoning to it. I think this one, uh, you know, tops both these. Not by much, but I do think I like it better. It's definitely worth going out oh, and giving it a try. For absolutely. Sure. Now they also have. A bacon ranch version as well, which, uh, you know, we're not trying that one today, but uh, I'm looking forward to trying that one at some point. This guy doesn't eat bacon, but <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm all about the bacon, so. That's right. But, uh, yeah, man, that is good. Dude. It's a thumbs up I mean, for me. Oh, big time. You want to, like, rate this one? Like, where are these mm. on the scale? Well, if we're one to one to five, man, I mean, both these are fours, and it's probably five. You know, as far as all the fast food burgers out there that we've tried over the, you know, over, over the, you know, past year during the burger war, yeah, this one definitely tops it, man. And, and again, because you know it's just better quality beef, you know, a thicker patty, and it's got the flavor, man. It's got, you know, that flavor's there. Mm. Yeah, I would probably. I mean, this one's good because it does taste different. But I'm not sure if I would say it's better than the Wendy's. I'd probably say they're about the same, and they're probably one point ahead of uh, the McDonald's ones for this. So that's what I would give it. Yeah, well, well, and, and again, I think because it's such a unique flavor, you know, it's going to be obviously it's going to be very, very, you know, dependent on the person. You know, whether you like this actual flavor or not. Me, I love it. I think it's great. These two, I mean, the Wendy's is better than McDonald's. So I guess I was a little wrong giving both these a four, but I mean, this was very close. You know, I mean, that, 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 that quarter pound is very close. But, uh, you know, if I had to put them in order, it's bam, bam, bam. You know, Arby's, Wendy's, and then McDonald's. But, again, not by much, right? They're all pretty damn similar. I mean, they're both they're all great burgers, you know. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of them. You know, but this one is definitely worth trying for sure. I mean, it's expensive. Definitely worth checking out, though. So, Arby's has good roast beef, and now <laughs> they got good, good burgers. burgers. man. So. And that, well, you know, it doesn't surprise me, man, because Arby's, I've always loved me some good Arby's food, man. Love their curly fries. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, they get some good shakes sometimes, you know. I mean, so... Uh, yeah, Arby's doesn't get enough credit. No, they don't. But uh, I tell you what, man, go we'll check this burger out because this thing's freaking phenomenal. Go get yeah. a big Montana, go get the new burger, <laughs> oh, yeah. and enjoy yourself. That's right. All right, guys. Well, hey, that's another food war down. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Hey, man, if you get this thing and take a bite out of it, and you uh, just let us know what you think, man. We'd love to hear what you guys think about this burger and also, you know, these as well. You know, most of you guys have probably already had these two, but most of you probably haven't had this one yet. Go get it. Let us know what you think, and we will check you guys in our next food war. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Burger time. Burger time. You taste that quality Wagyu? Taste it. Taste it. Oh, man. I need to be a burger tester. No, oh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> how, how do we do that, man? Where are you going to apply for that? Who gives that job? This one, I, I bite one and I'm like, this is really good. And I'm like, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. And yeah, then we're kids and want to be video game testers. Now it's like, damn, I want to be a burger tester. And Mick. Mickey D's, man, people are getting the wrong burger. If you're getting a Big Mac over oh, you're wrong. Uh, a quarter pounder, you're, wrong. you're doing it wrong. Get the oh, deluxe. Man. Don't get a regular quarter pounder. The deluxe is mm -hmm. so much better. Don't get the Big Mac. The deluxe. Yeah. Don't even waste your time with a Big Mac. and thing's gross. That's right. <laughs> oh, dude. Holy shit, man. This season of Strange, Strange Things, dude, they killed it. And, man. Really? They redeemed themselves big time for my season. Tell you that. Oh. Better than Wendy's, son? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm so How are we feeling here? Stuffed. Hey, let, let, let's, let's roll it, man. <laughs> let's roll, let's like, just throw caution to win, and yeah, right. whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, yeah, happens. Start out the fire, Billy. What do we got here? <laughs>